Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going over how to go through Haven and get out of it as quick as possible with a basic set of gear and the max of 3 gold that you can bring along with you. This guide will just cover how to speedrun through Haven and isn't recommended for new players who are just starting out. If you're brand new to the game I'd recommend following the full in-game tutorial or watching my other video on getting started in Mortal Online 2. The info in that guide covers Haven and the basics of the game in a lot more detail. Haven has been updated quite a few times and takes a lot longer to get through than it used to when you could just leave it from town right after logging in. This video is mainly aimed at players who want to re-roll a character and get through Haven as quick as they can, or any players who just want to skip the tutorial no matter what and dive right into the main game world to meet up with their friends without spending any more time than they need to on the starter island or for any other reason. I'll also go over why I re-rolled and made a Thursar as well as the build that I went with later on in the video. Starting off, go ahead and create your new character, then name it and log into the world. You'll arrive in the main town and see a tutorial window pop up. Just tap R to close it and take a quick look around to get your bearings, then talk to every Tudor NPC you see here, making sure to go through the dialogue with them so that you learn all the basic skills you might need for later. Learning these skills now will save you time and money later on in the game and only takes about a minute to do while you're here on Haven Island. Once you've done that, just head right to the graveyard which is about a 2 minute walk from town. Follow the path until you get there, resting whenever you need to and start killing zombies. You're gonna want to kill around 2 zombies first and loot their heads, then head back outside the graveyard and talk to the NPC vendor right there. Sell the zombie heads and look for a steel straight blade or another weapon if you prefer, then buy and equip it before heading back to the graveyard to keep killing zombies. From here you're gonna kill a lot of zombies to slowly level up your clade gifts without worrying about looting them for now as you can loot everything you need to at the end in one go. Every zombie you kill gives only 2 clade gifts XP which isn't much but you can kill a lot of them quick and easy and don't need to worry about waiting for them to respawn like you do with bandits which we'll also be killing later. Keep killing zombies and if you see a dead general which is like a bigger zombie boss, kill it to speed up the process. They drop around 1 gold and 50 silver worth of loot and give you 30 clade gifts XP which helps a lot and is like killing 15 regular zombies in one go. Kill enough zombies to level your clade gifts up to level 1 and bring your XP bar up to a little bit more than halfway. Then begin looting all the brown bags on the floor until you have around 4 gold worth of loot and head outside. Talk to the NPC vendor again and sell all your loot, then buy a full set of armor. Close the window and equip all your gear, then head back into town. Now you have all the basic skills offered in Haven, a basic vendor bought weapon, a basic full set of armor and 3 gold to bring with you to the mainland once you get out of here. Once you're in the city, go to the utility vendor and buy some bandages, then continue running through the town to get to the other side while you bandage yourself along the way if needed to save time. From here just keep following the path across the bridge outside the city and keep bandaging yourself as needed so you'll soon be back to full health. We're gonna follow the path along the water all the way down to the bandit NPCs which give around 16 clade gifts XP each, then kill a few to get to clade gifts level 2 and then continue on to the fishing village. From there you'll finally be able to get out of Haven. Killing the bandits isn't too hard but you'll want to try to take them on one by one if you can and if you're having trouble or think you might die in a fight just run away until they stop chasing you, then rest and bandage yourself and go back in again when you're ready. The reason I rerolled Thursa is that I've pretty much always played an Alvarin character since I started playing a long time ago and I wanted something different. Alvarins are arguably the best race for solo PvP and they have a lot of good stats and clade gifts going for them. I've killed a lot of players on my Alvarin character and love having the ability to run away or chase people down at any time, but when it comes down to it, Thursars can hit a lot harder and take a lot more hits and they can still be faster than most other characters that aren't an Alvarin with the right build. Aside from that, you get a few quality of life improvements like being able to passively heal yourself over time and being able to carry way more loot in your inventory due to having a higher strength level. I'm still relearning the game myself and haven't tried all the races yet but this time around before really getting into it I wanted to try something new and so I went with a fast, lean, Thursar Kurite build that has some flexibility. At a normal weight level of fit, it gives me 100 dexterity and 112 strength, which increases to 114 with clay gifts and isn't bad at all. I can then increase the strength by 5 levels at the cost of 5 levels of dexterity, or even decrease it to get 105 dexterity just by changing my weight in game. 
I could have gone for a build giving me 121 strength or more, but I'd have a lot less dexterity and movement speed. And while I don't mind not having the absolute strongest weapons in the game, as there are some pretty great weapons you can use without needing that, I do want to be able to have more movement speed. I won't be faster than an Alvarin, but I will be faster than most other players in general while still being able to hit like a truck and take a lot of damage. Anyway, that's the build that I've gone for here and I realize it's probably not optimal, but I'm willing to give it a try and see how I like it for now. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you guys think it's a good build or not and what builds you like to run. It could be good to bounce some ideas off each other and I may make another video diving deeper into races and builds, so hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see that. Now as you continue along the path, you'll come up to the fishing village. From here, just run right up to the statues outside at the back, then look at the one that says travel to Merland and hold R. A window will pop up and from here you'll be able to select which town you'd like to start in. Select that first, then open your inventory and create a stack of 3 gold if you have more than that by holding shift and right clicking on the gold, then entering 3 to split it. Drag the 3 gold into the window and when you're ready, click and hold the travel to whatever city you picked button and you'll finally be logged out. Sometimes the game will crash here, but now all you need to do is log in again and enter the world with your character. You should now be in the starting city of your choice with a full set of basic armor and a basic weapon. Run to the bank and you should see your 3 gold right there. Now you're in the main game world and from here you're able to do whatever you'd like, whether meeting up with a friend or doing anything else. I'd recommend buying a decent weapon first and then doing anything you'd like from there. If you're a new player and followed this guide just to get out of Haven fast but don't really know where to go from here, I'd recommend checking out one of my other guides you can find on my channel that will help you make quick gold and level your clay gifts, which is always good to do when starting out. Once you level your stats and clay gifts a bit more as well as stack up on some gold, you'll have a lot more options available to you and can look into learning new skills or getting a horse and traveling further outside whichever city you're in. Anyway, that's all for this video guys, I hope it helped some of you out there and if you enjoyed it and want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.